hey guys and welcome to the vlog so today we're gonna be doing a few things around the house just wanted to come in and do an intro let you guys know that glad to be back in front of the camera vlogging for you guys and we're gonna do a few little things around the house i got some updates for you guys so stay tuned for the rest of so this portion of my video is in partnership with Mirror Beauty. I was sent over some products to try out um, to do a minimalistic makeup, which is perfect because I've been working on minimizing my life a lot lately. And I'm gonna be testing out a few of their products and letting you guys know my honest opinions on how I feel about the products. So I have here four of their products um, that I'm gonna be trying out today and I'll be letting you guys know what i think of them so first of all how cute is this makeup bag that you receive with your first purchase so every first order through the mirror beauty website you'll receive this um bag it's called the mirror bag it's so cute and so inside my bag i just have the products that i got so what i got was the day glow highlighting balm and mine is in the color citrine and then I got two of the complexion sticks because this product was what I was the most excited about and just being honest I wasn't sure which shade would be the best for me so I got two of these one in the shade khaki and one in the shade buff and the packaging let's just get into the packaging y'all this packaging is so pretty I got two of these khaki let me swatch them for you so this one is khaki way too light you see that I wasn't really sure because I was using the website and I thought khaki would work but then I went up a shade to buff which is not much darker but darker and when you swatch these these things feel really buttery smooth real you know goes on really silky actual products that I got and the last thing that I picked was their Merit Beauty Brush and this brush is just so pretty. Look at that black and gold. It's just so pretty. I don't know. I'm a sucker for packaging and it just it's beautiful. So I got this as well and I've already kind of like played around with it but we'll be trying this as well today. And then next I'm going to just go ahead and go in with the Merit Beauty Complexion Stick. This is the color buff so I'm going to swatch this across my face a little bit and I'm gonna really just use this more so like a highlighter um, I'm not gonna put too much on the bottom of my face because as you can see the color is a little bit lighter but I'm pretty sure I can work with that and blend this out to be okay so I'm gonna use this like a highlighter and I'm gonna go in with the Merit brush and I'm gonna just blend that in and blend it up a little bit under my eye wanted a more dramatic highlight I guess I could go on top with khaki which is a little bit lighter and that will give me more of a dramatic look but so far it's okay it blends out but it's definitely not the color that I would need I should have went with a darker color but that's my you know that's my mistake blend the other side out so that's it that's what it's looking like I really think so far so good with this I mean it works well it blends out well it doesn't um, do a whole lot of coverage it gives like a very no makeup makeup look um, when it comes to coverage so if you're looking for full coverage this is not for you it's like more of a you want your skin but better look so that's what this is you can get the your skin with better look with that next I'm gonna go ahead and like set this a little bit with my powder and then go in with my bronzer, my favorite thing to do. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to my eyes. I can't even tell you what mascara this is because it rubbed off, but the last thing that I'm gonna try out is the Day Glow um, Highlighting Balm. And so let me swatch this, that's the other two. That's what that looks like. So this one is really, really kind of like an oily, type texture more um more hydrating than the other formula i'm gonna kind of put this on my cheek as a highlighter and i do like this formula a lot and i like the color it's like a golden undertone kind of give you that golden hour look so i like that and i'm gonna tap a little bit on my nose just a little bit 
So that's this. You see the glow? You see the glow? It's there. So that is really nice. I do like this, and I want to say just so far out of the the two products, I'm gonna just call these two because this is the same thing, two different colors. Out of these two products, I definitely like this the best. Um, I do feel like I would get a lot of use out of this because it is really hydrating. Again, I have dry skin, so anything that's gonna give me a little hydration with color, I love that. So um, I think this with a BB cream or something like that would be really good. That's it guys, I am pretty much done with my makeup look. It is giving the no makeup makeup look that I was going for, which I love. I definitely recommend to try out some of Merit's products. I really wish I could have got some of the lip oils and the other um, products like the lip and um, cheeky cheek balms like the blushes and all of that but I I went with the complexion products because I felt like those would get the most use for me unfortunately these aren't my favorite because of my dry skin I just feel like this product clings to dry patches and it isn't as hydrating as I would like it to be as for like a concealer or a foundation but I do absolutely love this Day Glow Balm. This is the balm. Like, I love this. I love the formula. It's really, like, creamy, silky, um, hydrating. It's going to give you a perfect glow if you go in with that along with, like, some SPF, like a sunscreen. Or if you just want to go no makeup totally and just highlight a little bit for that extra glow, that's your product. And then as far as the makeup brush, definitely love this one as well because it's really pretty and it's dense and it does the job. Like, first of all, it's just so pretty. I just want to like have it sitting on my vanity. It's just really aesthetically pleasing. So I love that. Um, but make sure you guys check out Merit Beauty. Um, I have my, co my code link below. You can click on my link for some money off. And if you guys are interested in any of these products, make sure to check it out through my link. Um, check out this one. And I also would definitely recommend the brush. But I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. So let's get into the rest of the vlog. So first up y'all, I added this new piece in my bedroom on my dresser. I just felt like it needed some type of um, like base on the dresser. I'm not done with it. I'm going to show y'all it's a mess, but I'm going to show y'all what it looks like just to give you an idea of where we're going to be going. But this is the first piece that I made and I'm really proud of it. I got this vase from Target and I got these like faux silk flowers off of Amazon and I just think it's so simple but beautiful like I love this so that's an update that I made I still have these dang on um, wooden knobs on this dresser because I had originally bought this dresser from my nursery so I put those wooden knobs there but I need to find more suitable knobs for our bedroom and then as you kind of saw the rest of the dresser is pretty much a mess like Stuff we got at Target. Um, the hatch is up here. Um, this little random. None of this is really how I want it to be. But that's one of the things that I've updated. And I'm going to share with y'all my bathroom updates as well. Alright y'all. So now we're in the bathroom. We're in this place. And it is just a mess as well. So far we just have all of this stuff just piled up. I feel like we just got piles of stuff that... I haven't decided what I want to do with it. Ignore that painting. My husband is actually painting that, but I wanted to see if that size picture would look good right there, and it would. So um, I think I'm going to get something that size and put it there. But as y'all can see, pretty much all my walls are blank. All of them. Pretty much all of them. And I don't necessarily care for that picture above the... Um, window it's a little too farmhousey for me but i like what it says so not really sure if i'm gonna keep that or not but yeah so we working with all these blank walls in here but i did add however this picture here my husband made that and we added that right there above but yeah, y'all, so that's that. And then, of course, we got, like, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that. But mostly, the plan is to get things on these walls, get a common theme for this bathroom. Because right now, look at this. We got a gray rug. We got a white rug. We got black. We got 
gray it's just we got blue it's a mess so this is operation get my walls together operation get a theme going start actually making this house a home so i will be doing home vlogs and i'll be bringing y'all along with me i'll likely do them once a week or every two weeks i'm not really sure i want to go for once a week but i'm scared that i won't have an update every week for you guys but we'll start with once a week let's just go ahead and put it out there we're not gonna be scared once a week we're gonna do home updates um and that's where we're starting so stay tuned for the rest of the vlog i'm gonna be doing some diy wall art in this vlog so stay tuned for that so I also have plans to do another DIY textured wall art type thing and I plan to record it this time. I will share with y'all the one that I already did for my living room but we went to Hobby Lobby and got these two big canvases. I have a 230 by 40. So let me show y'all how big they are. All right, y'all, so let me show you the wall art that I already did. All right, y'all, so I did do one textured wall art piece already for my living room because like I was telling y'all in my bathroom, like look at my walls. They're all pretty much bare in the whole house. All of the walls are just bare. But I did, however, put something up. So here's the wall piece that I did if you look up close you can see all the texture and everything in it but I did this and I'm planning to do something similar on this wall right here with those two pieces but as you can see what I was saying earlier my wall is real big like I don't know if that is big enough but my husband and my mother-in-law seem to think those two pieces will be fine in the middle I was thinking I need something real big because how tall the wall is but we're gonna work with the oh yeah at this moment y'all i just realized i forgot to share one more thing but i'm gonna call this operation get things on my wall because i don't have anything really on my walls like my husband always complaining saying like we don't have anything on our walls it's just plain but like i was saying in the bathroom i'm just much more um type of person that prefers to like strategically place things that i like on the wall and not just put something up there just to have something like if my walls have to be empty until i know what i want and what i like that's just kind of what i'm willing to do but i forgot we did put these on our wall so this my baby when he was a newborn we did like a gallery wall of those so i'm gonna share those with y'all look at all these pictures of my peanuts so when you walk in our house that's like the garage door there but when you walk in at the front door you'll see these when you see this long hallway nor my trash but you'll see this long hallway going to the living room definitely put these up I wish this one wasn't so dark, but it's just the way that the picture is made. So when you see it from this way, it's not dark at all, but yeah. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself because I actually did something. We put something on our wall. So I'm getting it up there. I'm getting things there. I just taking my time, but we are putting things on our wall. We are putting things on the wall. Oh, and we do have this picture of Gooch. <laughs> That was like one of the first things that we put on our wall. That was like one of the first things we put on our wall. And I was like, it's so funny because it's like we have nothing on our walls, no pictures of us, but we got a picture of our dog. We look like those crazy people who are obsessed with our dog. I just thought that was a really nice picture. My husband actually did that fun fact and we put it on the wall. Um, he basically drew it and we just framed it, put it on the wall. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. I don't know, the sun is going down. So I don't really know if I'm gonna get to my wall art today. But if I do, I will definitely share with you guys. And if I don't, I'll share with you when I do get to it. So I'll talk to you guys later.
Put it plainly like a Georgia peach tree Picking sweet tweet behind the scenes Running down your knees What a bloody me Hey guys, so we're working on the painting um, that I was doing in the last clip. It's like a day later, but we've still been working on it. So we're just going to add a bunch, a little bit more spackling to it um, and then paint it. That's what we got so far. This is this is why you don't do projects with little babies because Peanut had to put his touch on there. But that's what we got so far. We just put more spackle on there and all of this texture on the black part. <laughs> We gonna go over that with some more black paint. I think we should let it rain tonight. No, I love it when we slip inside. Don't stop, love it, got a love supply. Sleep, wake up, and repeat. y'all that's it for this vlog we have done the painting um by next vlog i should have both paintings done i'll give you an update and show you how we hang them but for now that's it lennox say bye bye say bye bye say bye bye not dad dad say bye 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 bye